Hello and welcome to the University of Liverpool Online. My name is Roxanne Ventro. I'm a student advisor. You guys have probably seen my picture on the Facebook page. And today I just want to do a short little video on how to post your discussion question to the discussion board and to the Turnitin link. So what you'll need to do is to go to your Blackboard and click under My Courses, your first module. And once you do that, you'll be taken to the Announcements page. So like you see here. Now we're just using an example of a classroom so your classroom may look a little different may have different announcements but go ahead have a quick read through there and then the next thing you should do is click on your syllabus so you can have a look at the assignments that are due and when they're due. It's always good just to be prepared but we're just gonna focus on week one which begins today and you'll see underneath it there is something called learning resources. You'll need to look through those because those will relate to the discussion question which is right underneath it called discussions one. So go ahead and have a click. So here you'll see the discussion question. Now it's really important to read every bit of information on here because it's going to tell you how to prepare, how many words you need, when it's due, and you can see Saturday, midnight, your time zone, uh, the exact discussion question, and everything else, how to respond. So make sure you read through that all again. You may have to reference back to those learning resources so that you can answer your question, but go ahead and do that. Now once you're ready and you're satisfied with your piece of work and you're ready to submit it, just scroll to the bottom of the page and you'll see every single link that you need to submit your question successfully. You'll see the draft Turnitin link, which is only for your purpose so if you just want a copy of the report before you turn it in, go ahead and use that. But you will need to focus on the link beneath it called Week 1 Discussion Question 1. Now, the purpose of this link is to submit your work direct to your instructor so that he can grade it. If, they, if you don't use this link, they won't see your work and they won't be able to grade you. So this is most important. So we'll go ahead and show you how to use this link. Now, you may see a little different page then we're going to show you. You may see a page where it says View Submit. So after you click on View Complete, you'll come to another page, and then you'll need to click on Submit. And then you'll see this next page. So here you'll see the different options on how to submit your paper. You have multiple options, the single file upload, cut, copy, and paste. You can read all of those and just choose which one you feel most comfortable about. You'll have to go ahead and fill in the red starred areas, which includes your first name, your last name, and go ahead and give it some sort of title like discussion question one. <laughs> That's fine. And it also gives you some requirements for a single file upload, and then you'll see choose file if that's what you choose and then once you're satisfied with that you'll go ahead and click the upload button after you've clicked the upload button you'll get another page that says submit make sure that you hit that submit button so it'll be sent direct to your instructor for grading now the second part that you need to do is post it to the discussion board and what you can do is go ahead and click back on discussions one because remember all of the links are there. So scroll back down to the bottom of the page and you'll see something called Week 1 Forum. So go ahead and click on that and then you'll see the thread titled Discussions Week 1 and the author will be your instructor. So go ahead and click on the thread title and you'll actually see the discussion question there and you should also see if your fellow classmates on the top have responded to that discussion question. So that's always a good place to look as well. So once you've turned it, your assignment in to turn it in, you'll be able to post it onto here and go ahead and click reply. So go ahead and click the reply button and this is what you'll see. You'll see the subject and then you'll see that text box. Now we recommend that you copy and paste to this text box because not all students have a compatible Microsoft Word, maybe they're using something different, so they may not be able to see your submission on the discussion board. So copy and paste to there. And once you're satisfied with that, go ahead and hit that submit button. Now a quick note is do not hit the save button because it saves a draft and nobody in the classroom will be able to see it and you won't be able to take part in the discussion that will follow. So click the submit button and that's how you've gone ahead and submitted to the discussion board. So today we've gone over how to use the Turnitin link, 
and the discussion board link so that you can successfully submit your discussion question. Well, thank you guys for listening today. And if you have any questions at all on that very first page we saw, announcements page, your student advisor is on there. Let's go ahead, send them an email, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.